If you ever tried creating an online course, do you know it's a lot of work. You sit there writing each lesson, looking for the right images and putting everything together. It can take forever. But what if I told you, you don't have to do all that work manually. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build your own course creation system using NA10. Once it's set up, you have to type in your topic, click a button and it'll generate the content, voiceover and the visuals for the course automatically. Seriously, it's that simple. And you don't need to be a tech expert to do this. I'm Brad from Website Learners and let's get started. We are going to create our online course creation system in just two parts. And the first part is to set up the NATN automation. Now, NATN is an automation tool that lets you connect different apps and services to automate tasks. This is where we build and run our automations and you only need to set it up once. So we're going to do this in just three simple steps. And the first step is to get the NATN hosting. Now, there are three different ways you can use NATN. The first option is to host NATN locally on your own computer. The first option is free but it is more complex to set up. The second option is using WebSpace Kit for hosting N8N. This is the most quickest and the low cost way to host N8N. This costs just $5 per month or 400 Indian rupees per month. It's easy to use with zero setup required. You also get unlimited workflow executions and unlimited active workflows. The third option is the N8N Cloud, which is the official platform by N8N. This costs 24 pounds per month, which is approximately $27. It's much more expensive and the features are limited too. In this video, we're going to purchase N810 from WebSpace Kit where we get unlimited workflow executions and unlimited active workflows. Since N810 is open source, you get much more benefits when you host it on your own on a platform like WebSpace Kit. So to host N810 on WebSpace Kit, just click the link in the description and it'll take you to this page. Now scroll down and click choose plan. Here choose how long you want the hosting for. I'm going to choose 12 months. If you choose 24 months, this gives you the best price which is $5 per month. Then fill in these details, enter your payment details and click checkout. So now we have successfully made the payment and we've got our N8N hosting. Now click here and you can see that our plan is active. So let's go to step 2 which is to set up N8N. So to set it up, just scroll down and click go to setup. You are filling these details, click next and it will take you to this page. So now we have successfully set up N8N and we have reached the N8N dashboard which means we can start creating our workflows. So click start from scratch and you have two options. You can either create a new workflow and then build the agent manually by adding each node one by one or you can use ready-made automation templates which lets you quickly import the workflow and lets you use the agent immediately. So to make things easier, I've created a workflow that is already available in WebSpace Kit. So let's go to step 3, which is to import the workflow template. To import the template, first we need to download the template. To do that, go back to this tab, then scroll down, and here you'll find different workflow templates for various AI agents. So select the workflow that you want, and since we are creating the online course, let's select online course generator workflow, and click download and it will be downloaded to your computer. Once you download the workflow template, to import it, go back to N8N, then click here, select import from file, and then upload the file you just downloaded. As you can see here, the workflow has been imported. So now we have successfully completed the setup of N8N automation. Now as you can see in the workflow below, some of the nodes have warning signs, which means they still need to be set up before everything works perfectly. So let's go to part 2 of this video, which is to set up the key workflow nodes. To set it up, we are going to do 4 steps. The first step is to connect OpenAI to the workflow. OpenAI is used to generate the course content and the voiceover scripts. So to connect it, click on this node, then click here, select create new credential, and here we need to enter the API key of OpenAI. To get the API key, just click the link in the description. Now click sign up, and continue with your Google account. Once you're signed in, click on create new secret key. Here enter the name of your API key and click create secret key. Now just copy the key, go back to N8N, paste it here and click save. Alright, so now we have successfully connected OpenAI to our workflow. Now go back 
and once you connect your OpenAI account to the first node, all the other nodes using OpenAI will be connected as well. Just open the other OpenAI nodes and it will be connected. Now that we have set up the OpenAI nodes, next let's go to step 2 which is to set up the Tavli node. Tavli is used to search the web and collect relevant information about the topic. So to set up Tavli, click on this node and here you need to enter the API key of Tavli AI. To get this key, just click the link in the description and it will take you to Tavli's website. Just click on sign up and log in using your Google account. Now to create a new key, click on the plus icon, give a name to the key and click create. Next, just copy it, go back to N810 and paste it into the field. In the same way, let's add the API key to the other Tavli node. Okay, so now we have successfully set up Tavli, so let's go to step 3, which is to connect Google Drive to the workflow. This will let us store the generated course content and the voiceover scripts directly into our Google Drive. To begin, click on the Google Drive node in your workflow. Then click create new credential. Here we need to enter the client ID and the client secret. To get these details, just click the link in the description to go to the Google Cloud Console. Once you're here, agree to the terms and click continue. Now click on select a project. Then click new project, give your project a name and click create. And after the project is created, click here and select the newly created project. From the left side of the menu, go to APIs and services and click OAuth consent screen. Once you're in, click get started and next we need to fill in these details. First enter the app name. Choose a support email, then choose the audience as external and click next. Enter your contact details, proceed to agree the terms and click continue. Once done, click create. Now click create OAuth client. Click here and choose the web application, then enter the name. Next, we need to provide the N18 redirect URL. So go back to N18, copy this link from here and paste it here. Once done, click on create and your client ID will be generated. So just copy it, go back to N18 and paste it in the field. To get the client secret, go back to the cloud console and click here. As you can see, here's the client secret. So let's copy the key and paste it in N18. Before signing in, we can see that it asks us to enable the Google Drive API. To do that, let's go back to the Cloud Console again. Search for Google Drive and click on Enable. After enabling Google Drive, go to OAuth Consent screen and click on Audience. Then click on Publish App and finally click on confirm. Once done, let's go back to N18 and sign in with your Google account. And you will see this message which is completely fine. Just click on advanced and click here. Select all the permission and click continue. As you can see the Google Drive has been connected to your workflow. Now let's go back just open the other Google Drive nodes and it will be connected. Okay, so now we have successfully connected Google Drive to the workflow and next, let's go to the last step which is to set up the Google Docs node. Now to organize the generated course content, we'll use the Google Docs node and the generated course content will be automatically added to the document which you can easily access and edit later from your drive. So to set it up, just click on this node in your workflow and select create new credentials. Since we have already created the client ID and client secret earlier in the Google Cloud Console, we can use the same here. But before that, we need to enable the Google Docs API. So go back to your Google Cloud Console, search for Google Docs API, 
and click enable. Now return to the credential section. Click here. And you will see the same client ID and client secret. So let's copy them both and paste them into NA10. Then sign in with your Google account. Once signed in, the credentials will be saved inside NA10. Just open the other Google Docs nodes and it will be connected. Also, you can notice that all the warning symbols have disappeared, which means we have set up all the nodes and our workflow is fully functional. Okay, let's test the workflow. Click on Execute Workflow and you'll get a form like this. Now enter the course topic, the number of modules and the word count for each module. Once done, click on Submit and here you can see that our workflow has started to run and it has been executed successfully. And now our course content will be generated on Google Drive. So if we go to the Google Drive account that we added, here you'll find the newly created course files which includes both the course content and the voiceover script. Now let's open the course content and as you can see it has the full content in proper markdown format which also includes image URLs related to the topic. If you want to access all the images, just go to the course folder and here you'll find a folder with all the stock images. But if you don't want web images and prefer to generate AI images for your course, then you can use the second workflow. To do that, Go to the image generation workflow and click execute. Enter the course title. And here we have to add the voiceover script that we generated. So just copy the voiceover script. Then paste it here. Enter the number of images you want per module. Then click submit and the workflow is executed successfully. If you go back to Google Drive, you'll find a new folder has been created. If you open it, you can see that it has generated the images for each module as we mentioned in the form. Using this generated content, I've created a complete course. Here's what I did. First, I generated a voiceover from the script. Next, I sync the generated visuals with the voiceover to create a video that aligns perfectly with the content. For each module, this process is repeated to ensure consistency and flow throughout the course. Finally, I combine everything into a complete course format and as you can see, the models are neatly organized. Let's play the video. Hey there, welcome to YouTube for Beginners. Turn your passion into content. I'm so excited to kick off this journey with you. In this first module, we're diving into the basics. You can see that the text, visuals and the voiceover come together into a smooth, easy to understand tutorial. So that's it guys. This is how you can easily create a complete online course using AI and NA10. Now it's your turn. Go ahead and try it out. And the first step is launching NA10 on WebSpace Kit. So just click here and it'll take you to the same page that we saw in the beginning. So go ahead and start building your own course workflows. Also, if you want to get our latest videos directly on WhatsApp, you can scan the QR code or tap the link below and hit follow. That's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.